What's up friends of the good mood? This is Money and welcome to the new explosive expert skill with cryo and with Orkins. You guys have asked me in the recent uh, Behemoth Avalanche video if it's gonna work, if they also bypass the purple shield pop-ups from drones. And in this video we're here gonna to find out if they do. And uh, as you have seen in the title, uh, they actually don't. Um, or it's 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 difficult because sometimes it seems like it works a little bit and then it doesn't again By the way on a side note I'm beginning to play world of tanks more seriously now on my second YouTube channel called good mood gaming in the top right corner You find the direct link to this very video right here brand new released uh, Because I really enjoy world of tanks blitz so much. It has a lot of similarities with war robots It's just tanks instead of robots, but there's armor mechanics and uh, and uh, yeah, it's just super awesome And it looks great, too uh, So yeah, if you want to check out and you have a little bit of time in the top right corner is a link I would really appreciate if you could have a look at it thank you let me show and prove what I mean okay uh, the first battle you see here I'm firing at him but the rockets do not do any further damage anymore explosive expert skill is on both robots the Fafnir with the Orkins and the leech with uh, the uh, cryos by the way I saw he was going to teleport onto me that's why I walked forward to make him fall down and not be able to actually keep on pushing me so I can walk away from it um, now I'm landing uh, because, uh, yeah, I want to fire with all four Orkins, not just with two of them while I'm in the air. So this guy down there, he's walking away. He had the shield, but look, we're doing no damage to him. We're st we have to work down the yellow shield first for some reason. And this is not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be so that we can bypass the purple shields. That's the reason why, like, why explosive weapons are back in the game now. Here, I'm blocking a lot of damage from his punchers and from his um, claw weapon. Uh, and uh, yeah, you see we're amplified really well. We can do a lot of damage. However, his weapons have the ability to perfectly hit us no matter how fast we fly with his claw. So I have to keep pushing him. Uh, and I also, I, I make a test, I will also show you in a few seconds uh, where it worked, right? Where it worked that we bypassed the shield and then I show you where it doesn't work again. So it's really questionable and weird. It's, a, it's, not, a, it's not a thing that actually works. It's super awkward. And I don't really know what the deal with it is. I, I can't quite understand it. So, we're hopping into uh, the cryo version now, right? We have an attacking guy in front of us, and look, I'm just gonna unload it. I'm just gonna unload. Look, he stops taking damage. You see this? No damage anymore. I have to drop his purple shield first, I have to drop his yellow shield first before I can deal damage. And the result of all of this is that my entire salvo is now empty. I unloaded that full clip into nothing, dealing zero damage, coming out with no more ammo, and the guy is not harmed. He doesn't have a problem, right? And this is why explosive weapons are completely worthless in the game now, unless you can bypass these shields. You unload these slow traveling rockets and at some point that shield triggers and everything you still fired and that's still on their way into a shield with zero effects and you end up losing all your firepower. Look how much damage they could do. See how quickly I just ruined this hawk, uh, no, a harpy up there. I hit him for one second and the guy was killed because in theory these weapons deal a tremendous amount of damage. And in theory, they're, they're alpha damage, basically this, this, this burst damage when they unload is so high that you can make it use so well, right? But then these shield pop-ups come in, and here's it's very obvious. This angler is coming out of his ability, I'm gonna start to fire, and I will not stop firing because I have explosive expert. I expect these rockets to ignore his freaking shield. It's not going to work. Look at this. I'm opening fire now. His shoe triggers shortly after because of course it does. And all my rockets. Look at this. The shield triggers at this point. Uh, no, the rockets fired now will already go into his shield. Pop. I still have almost half my clip. And the other half is on their way to him. Already ineffective because the shield is there. All of that's happening now. The entire four Orkans unload. No damage, no damage, no damage, no damage, no damage. Pam. He, with his explosive shotguns, has a fixed reload. He repair he reloads his weapon and he's fully loaded again. My Orkans need 20 seconds or 25 seconds to re fully regenerate their ammo. It's outrageous that all of that goes into nowhere. 
with no effect whatsoever. It's outrageous. And that's the reason why rockets are absolutely dead. They are so dead in the game. They have no reason to exist anymore. The new claw jaw and talon, they're better because they have a fixed reload. They reload like the shotguns in a fixed time, quickly pop, and then they're fully loaded again. So even if you do miss a few shots, it's not that big of a deal. You can keep on firing. But the, the way the Orkans and Cryos regenerate make them absolutely worthless in a meta where constant shield triggers ruin your damage completely, right? So, and then the explosive expert still, skill comes in and you expect this thing to finally work. I, I thought Pixonic did this to to correct this mistake with the rockets. I thought they realized what was going on here. Look how much damage we could in theory do. Um, uh, and I thought they realized this and they were like, wait, nobody, literally no one uses rockets anymore. But Pixonic does have the meta data about the game. They have all the little datas about every tiny aspect. They can probably tell you how many pop-up shields have been triggered since drones were in the game. Um, and. Um, yeah, they, uh, they see that nobody uses rockets anymore. And here it is where it worked, okay? Uh, and, and I thought they, they bring in this explosive expert to fix this problem. But then I, it turns out it only works on super high splash damage weapons such as Trident and Avalanche. It does not, however, seem to work on Orkans and Cryos. But then this happens. Look, this guy on his Ravana will trigger a purple shield in just a minute, um, or a few, a few seconds. And you'll see I keep firing and I actually keep dealing damage to him. Why? Why does it work here? Look! Bop, 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 bop. You saw this guy to my right. He wasn't shield bypassing. He wasn't even firing at him anymore. I was firing and I was dealing damage. You see it slowly now in, in a, a slow motion. I built a slow-mo in. Um, why did it work here? I don't understand. Maybe the whole thing hasn't been worked through yet. Maybe Pixonic did realize there was a problem with rockets, and maybe they did intend to fix it with this explosive expert skill, but maybe there are still a few balancing tweaks left to do. Maybe there's something that needs to happen that hasn't happened yet. Look at this damage. I love it. I love how much we can unload there. Um, so maybe they're still planning on uh, bumping up the splash damage of Orkans and Cryos a bit. Uh, so that you can do that as well with these weapons, right? It, it would be my hope, right? I don't want to say Pixonic did something wrong right here because maybe there is still a plan to fix this. Uh, but so far and at this very moment, I must say it's not working yet. Uh, if, the, if the plan was to help these rockets come back into the game, then it's not working. It probably works with Tulumbas. I can make a video with Tulumbas because Tulumbas are bigger rockets. They have bigger splash radius. And I believe that they probably go through the shields. Um, but uh, the Cryos and the Orkins, in somehow 95% of all cases, don't do that. And the Explosive Expert skill has no effect here. You may as well just equip something else because it literally has no meaning for you or no positive effects. Yeah, sure, when two enemies stand close together, you can sometimes now hit both of them where before you could only hit one. You can shoot a little bit better around the corner and splash people a little more. But you saw this here, what I've shown you here, this is actually a lot of fun. This burst damage is what made, what, what's the reason to exist for these rockets because they are very um, special with this focused burst fire that they can have for a few seconds, right? Dealing this much damage and inflicting so much, so much uh, damage on the enemy. However, again, without the Explosive Expert skill fixing these pop-up shield problems, hmm, it's not working, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping Pixonic still has some plans for this, and maybe it hasn't just fully been implemented, all of it. Here, look at these freaking curving shots coming into the tunnel around the corner, locking me down and dealing damage. Blech, it's disgusting. I really hate this. Um, but yeah, so that's why I call these not homing bullets. I call them homing bullies. Um, and this guy, I remember this. I, this is not a live gameplay. I remember this guy. He's the boss. Pickle Prince, you are the boss, mein Freund. Mit deinem Nightingale. This is insane. This is the hardest Nightingale I've ever seen in my entire life. Look how I'm doing nothing to him. I'm literally doing nothing to him. I'm unloading and he's like taking nothing and then this is not the only time. He already lost the weapon, but he's still going to ruin my my, my robot here because I, I didn't land I seen I didn't see him when he was landing. Now I use my next robot. It's gonna be the Fafnir. 
And uh, I was, by the way, I was realizing that the only beacon I fight for, we just lost it because I died, all other beacons are in enemy hands. Literally all beacons are in enemy hands. I was like, oh my god, are you kidding me? All right, let's get into the Fafnir and just shoot a couple of rockets, right? That's what I was thinking. So we're going to do this, but I'm going to fight the Nightingale. And this guy, Pickle Prince, man, he is the boss with this thing. I've never seen a Nightingale this freaking powerful before. This, it, it's, it's, to me, this is freaking, this is a flying fan of here. Look, he's behind me now. I'm gonna start to fly uh, and block some damage here with a shield. He follows me in, uh, but I can attack him and he takes no damage whatsoever. It's like, it's like I'm, I'm tickling him a little bit. Then my shield drops. I'm gonna land so that all my other Orkans also start to fire. Now I'm hitting him with four Orkans. He don't care. He's not taking damage. He's a Nightingale. And apparently Nightingales have freaking Titan level HP now. Look, he even lands in front of me. I'm unloading all four Orcans. I'm barely able to do 2% of damage to him. Now he's passively regenerating more HP than I can do with all my Orcans. Of course, because Orcans suck horribly. But still, um, that was the hardest Nightingale I've ever seen in my life, man. What the heck was this? Pickle Prince, what happened? What you do with your freaking Nightingale, man? How did you buff this thing so crazy? All right, anyways, this guy just dropped his uh, shield to Skyros. He's not in his ball mode, and pop, he goes immediately. So good. It's so good to use and see the old leech run around. To see the old leech actually performing well and dealing damage and connecting, chaining over to enemies and dealing damage with that. I like the leech nowadays. There, there was a time when it was overpowered and ridiculous, but now it's no longer. And, um, and it's actually an interesting robot now, no longer completely ridiculous. And I love running it. Here, by the way, you see the splash damage. You, without the explosive expert skill, I could not kill him here. I wouldn't be able to kill him around this corner. That was too much of a distance to the uh, splash um, center. But it was enough with these rockets now. Uh, also dropping him to last stand immediately. Uh, he goes down. Is in last standing now. We wait for it. There's a Mars turret flying by me. <laughs> Hello, Mars turret. How are you, friend? I am taking battleship hits all the time, then I'm taking curving bullies. Yes, I'm still cur calling them curving bullies, because that's what they are. They do. That's what they do. They bully you. You're behind cover. You should be safe. Game says no. Now you can be hit by curving bullies, who bully you from right around the corner at 500 meters range. And uh, when you want to attack them, guess what? The harpy teleports back into 600 meters range. Yay! All right, we have an enemy behind us. Look, I can do a lot of damage to the Kepri. I just ruined him down to 20% because I was fully loaded with these four cryos. And I like that they can actually do a lot of damage. And remember, the cryo is a legendary weapon. This is something for your balancing department, Pixonic. This thing is considered a legendary weapon. I know the Orcans are considered rare, but uh, the cryos are considered legendary. Yo, shouldn't legendary weapon, well, perform somewhat legendary, maybe? Um, just saying. And uh, you can see they could potentially perform well if it wasn't for those shields. And also, um, I feel like the reload needs to be faster. Because in a world where now rockets uh, like uh, Jaw, Claw, Talon, or the Explo shotguns have a fixed reload of short 5 seconds and then enter back into full firepower, or maybe it's even shorter than five seconds, I'm not sure. Um, in a world like this, in a balancing like this, um, having a, a slow, continuous reload is absolutely outdated. Here, half my shots again into a shield, dealing no damage to him. It's completely outdated to have this continuous reload this slow. There used to be a time where a continuous reload was an advantage. Right? There used to be a time when we said, wow, cool, Tulumbas can now continuously reload instead of uh, having a fixed reload. Same with, it, uh, same with the Tridents, firing empty all at once. There used to be a time we considered this a bonus. Now, it turns out it's actually a detriment because you are forced to very slowly regenerate your firepower. Where other weapons just boop, load right through, 5 seconds, pam, full firepower back, right? And um, yeah, it's kind of crazy in this regard how the game uh, and the perception of what's good and what's not is changing simply because um yeah uh things come in also these weapons here are a perfect example these titan weapons are the perfect example of what i'm talking about you can shoot how many shots 20 shots before you need to reload it's way too much what you can fire you can kill five titans with these three weapons and then start one reload uh, or three titans maybe 
it's way too much. And then fixed reload, so short five seconds and you're back with all your firepower, right? The old shotguns have a continuous reload. You fire them empty once and that's when your firepower pretty much ends. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this video. I hope you had a good time and I hope I was able to showcase something because you asked me, does it work with Orkins and Cryo? And my answer is in 95% of the all cases, no. There is this one out of uh, 20 moments, these 5% where it actually somehow works. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's weird. It, it doesn't work normally. Uh, but again, my hope is Pixonic is working on this and might uh, fix this with just a simple increase of splash damage for these type of weapons too. And while we're at it, uh, um, Vortex and Aphid and Thermite need massive splash damage too because they really need to bypass shields. If Vortex, Thermite and Aphid can't bypass shields, these weapons are 100% worthless. 100% worthless. The, the splash damage, by the way, would also help these weapons finally hit moving targets because half the time you don't do damage because the enemy is simply walking. Well, in a game where robots are walking around, wow, the enemy was walking so my firepower goes to nowhere. Like, what the hell? Um, that's the one thing. One Half the time you don't deal damage because they're just walking around. And the, the, the other half you don't do damage because uh, they're having pop-up shields, you know? If they added fa uh, splash damage to Vortex Thermite Aphid, similar to what they did with uh, Kisten and Bulava, uh, then you could also use explosive experts on these weapons and you would end up with weapons that are back in the game. Uh, how amazing would that be? Pixonic, please make it happen. All right, so yeah, catch you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Money signing off and bye-bye. Oh, and also don't forget the second channel would be awesome if you could check out Good Mood Gaming and, uh, and see if you like me playing World of Tanks Splits. Bye-bye.